Hello everyone. I got my new drum log and started developing my original module. So today I'm going to introduce my new module, Minitone. You can download it from the link in the description of this video. So firstly, I'll explain how to install a new module into your drum log. Drum log has no library and software. Keeping on pressing the record button, Turn on the drum log to let your drum log begin mass storage mode. In this mode, you can connect your drum log to your PC as a USB drive. To install a new module to your drum log, open the units folder and then open the synthesis folder and copy the module file into this folder. Then press the play button and your drum log starts in the normal mode. Now you can select the installed module from the menu in the user sound button. Okay. Minitone is a classical virtual analog synthesizer. It's a monophonic synthesizer with two oscillators, one low-pass filter, one envelope generator, and one LFO. Minitone has some presets for instant use. And you can use 23 parameters to make your own sound. There are 6 pages in the menu and the first page is for the filter. And the second page is for the fast oscillator. The third page is for the second oscillator. And the fourth page is for the envelope. And the fifth page it has some other miscellaneous parameters. And the last page is for the LFO. And if you have a MIDI controller, you can use it to control Minitone. Connect your MIDI controller before you turn on the drum log, then turn the drum log on. And there's one important thing. You need to set a MIDI channel of drum log to receive the note events from your controller. So, while holding the shift key down, press the live button to enter the global setting mode. And hit button number 7 to go to the MIDI routing page. What is essential is to choose an A to B style value. So here I chose the 7 to 2. 
and which means that the MIDI channel 7 to 16 and channels 1 and 2 are assigned to each instrument of the drum load. I mean MIDI channel 7 is assigned to the bass drum, MIDI channel 8 is assigned to the snare, and so on. And the MIDI channel 16 is assigned to SP2, and MIDI channel 1 is assigned to the digital multi-engine. So you can use the MIDI controller, which uses MIDI channel 1, to control the digital multi-engine. And Minitone can use MIDI keyboard input to transpose the sequence as a signal. So here is an example of a sequence. To use the transposing function, set the last parameter of the fifth page into transpose. So now the sequence for the minitone is played only when the MIDI note is on. And the sequence is transposed with the key you hit. Also, Minitone has another transposing function. You can play oscillator 1 or 2 with your MIDI keyboard, while the other oscillator is controlled by the drum log sequencer. Unfortunately, you shouldn't record the MIDI keyboard input onto the drum log sequencer. If you record the MIDI keyboard input, the existing sequence data will be erased. So you can use these transposing functions only for a live performance. Okay, thank you for watching this video and enjoy Minitone with your drum log. Bye bye.